Lights are out. Time to run with Jabrong. And looks like Reese has got a little bit of a... Oh, Reese is off to the side. What's happened to Reese March? I don't know, but into turn one, it's Andrea Latrella attacking Jensen Randall straight away, but this Jensen going to strike straight back. He's going to try to hang it on the outside, but he will have the inside for turn three, and he does <laughs> try to retaliate straight away. He will have the tighter line on the exit there of turn four, and he does regain the lead. Oh, and Andrea tries to crossover move, and they're still side by side as they head down in the next corner. Jensen Randall, and look at this, Andrea's going to dive to the inside, thought about it, goes wide. Almost blows the braking zone, and Dennis Carenci's trying to get down to the inside and make this a three-car battle. Meanwhile, Liam Hill and Hesteban Hermanos, the two newcomers, battling side by side with each other, and Liam Hill makes the pass, and here comes Louis Quinlan to be a part of this, and Hermano oh, gets touched. No. He saves it. Oh, Hermanos, all his SRL debut was spun out of turn seven. Device. So, uh, oh, we've got a car around. That's Louis Quinlan. Looks like he might have had a little bit of contact and got spun. Meanwhile, Liam Hill trip. and uh, Dennis Carinci is really battling it out for the third spot. So, you've got the battle for the lead. They're all by them lonesome. Then you got the battle for third. They're all by their lonesome. Well. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, it's. Uh, I remember my first SRL race high. Qualified on pole in Barcelona season two. But then, oh, uh, and Carenci loses the back end of the car, oh, and he's into the gravel. He's gonna lose him a lot of ground. He's still. Oh, and here comes Cameron West and Edwards us. now. Yeah, that's still the best of other models. Just oh. went on the inside of Brian Bauer, but Brian is gonna try to get the better exit on the inside. Bit of a slide. Oh, and that back end is coming around. <laughs> Brian Power trying to oh, hang yeah, top, and there it goes. Towards the infield into the grass, he does keep it out of the barrier, so he uh, has avoided any damage. Or, uh, Andrea, I would imagine, has probably got control of that car by now, and uh, we'll be able to start spreading that gap a little bit. And Rene Edwards von der Stapp as to... well, he tried to go up the inside of uh, Fins van Huygen, and he has actually managed to get through. I almost touched as they came through turn 13, but Rene van der Stapp now up into sixth place. And it looks like the rain has stopped, so the track is still wet, but the rain has stopped. And Vanderstaff and Van Houten side by side. Sandro Dulius and Reese March are a part of this battle as well. So 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth, all battling it out. And a couple of Who's drivers pitting as well. driver to pit, and it looks like that is going to be Andrea. Yeah, and he's and probably... Tommy scoring finally coming back, and it looks like uh, Edwards stays out on track, so... No, Edwards does not stay out on track. Edwards is in the pits. He's switching over to a set of hards. And also, Sandro Dulis and Rene from the stop running side by side through turn two, but Dulis has the inside for turn three. <laughs> and then it's just to uh, get oh, past Rene from the stop. Oh, and Reese makes a little bit of contact with Van Houten. He does, and Van Houten now has the run on Sandro Dulis as they go into turn five. Dulis on the inside, taking a defending line, manages to hold on to P5 for now. Reese March. Oh, he makes contact with Van Houten again. And DRS is now enabled, so that's going to be an advantage. Diving into the pits. Now I'm gonna pick up where is Andrea? He is currently also uh, in the pit lane, I think. He's managed to move his way up to P4 now. He must have had an incident. I Andrea really yeah. he is all over the back of him now. Look at this, a three car battle now for second spot. Uh, what has happened to Liam Hill? He's off the pace. Oh, oh and he gets touched! Pitch. Did he? I don't know. Oh, and it just goes clean around the outside. What's happened to Liam Hill? He's just lost all the speed. Where the back end goes around? And Liam Hill into the wall. Oh, 
<laughs> I think he just uh, maybe uh, avoided any damage there. He's I'm sorry, that was Sandro Dulius. Ooh, and there's and, uh, the tail. The is there, yeah. Almost touching the Ferrari in front of him. And uh, now the slipstream slash the arrest train has... Did Dennis Craig just go into the pits there? He did. Yeah. I thought he yeah. ran right, but he is off into the pit lane. So that's probably to repair his damage, because I can't imagine the heart being worn out at this stage. Get himself a little bit more comfortable. Meanwhile, Sandro and Rennie going side by side through the hairpin, and crossover move by Sandro to make that work. Rennie's all over the gearbox as they head out of the lap. Cameron Weston Edwards now, of course, has a bit of... Oh, so Whoa, he's what is... into the gravel. What happened there? Scary. And looks like Reese might have had an incident uh, somewhere along the last couple of laps. He went from 26 seconds back to 43 seconds back. And here we go once again. Liam Hill oh, to the yeah, inside this time. Oh, and they touch. Oh, and that was a little bit of a shoulder yeah. check. Yeah, it was. And Dennis Crunchy was hanging out to dry right there on the exit. He, yeah, I mean, potentially there are definitely some. Oh, and Liam Hill. Liam Hill. Liam Hill. What happened to He's him? He's off in the grass. He's up against the wall. He's crashed out. Uh, a little bit of separation back to Max. Jensen Randall coming through the final corner now to win his second race of the season here in China to increase his lead in the championship over Andrea Latrella, who's going Andrea Latrella, who's going to finish in second place.